Aloha, it's Yanaka Yab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. In Lahaina today, Le Mana Purdy began chanting an oli called Kele Maila at dawn at the site of crosses, honoring the 102 victims of last year's August 8 Maui wildfires. Volunteers and staff from Malu Ikaulu draped a 600 foot tea leaf lei across the crosses in a moving ceremony that started at 5 a.m. and concluded by 6 30 a.m. Napili resident Erica Hutch, who helped make the lei, shared her emotional experience, saying, I feel so good to be here. It's not just about me. For more details, visit StarAdvertiser.com. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the deadly Maui wildfires, and a full day of events began this morning with heartfelt tributes to the 102 lives lost. Maui Mayor Richard Bisson, Governor Josh Green, and other officials gathered in Lahaina, pledging continued support for the community's recovery. U.S. Senator Brian Schatz and U.S. Representative Jill Tokuda emphasize the strength and resilience of Maui's people, with Tokuda declaring, we will be with you every step of the way. For more, visit StarAdvertiser.com. Today, about 5,000 Unite Here Local 5 hotel workers are voting on whether to authorize a strike following months of what they call unsuccessful negotiations with major hotel chains like Hilton, Hyatt, and Marriott. The workers are demanding higher wages and a reversal of staffing cuts made during the pandemic. While a strike vote doesn't mean an immediate strike, it would give the union the power to call one at any time. Results of the vote are expected by 8 p.m. tonight. Stay tuned to StarAdvertiser.com for updates on this developing story. Governor Josh Green has used his emergency powers to help ease the burden of skyrocketing insurance rates for Hawaii condo owners. On Wednesday, Green signed an emergency proclamation allowing the Hawaii Hurricane Relief Fund and the Hawaii Property Insurance Association to offer insurance policies to large condo associations. This action comes in response to recent rate hikes of up to 1,000% due to global insurance industry challenges. Green's move follows recommendations from a task force aiming to stabilize the insurance market and protect Hawaii residents from further financial strain. Kahuku High School's football team, the three-time defending Hawaii Open Division state champions, has debuted at number 25 in the USA Today Super 25 preseason rankings. The Red Raiders, who have dominated local competition with a 33-1 record against Hawaii opponents over the past three years, kick off their season this Saturday against St. Louis. Kahuku will then face top-ranked teams on the road, including number three, Bishop Gorman, and number one, Matter Day, who will visit the North Shore on September 14. Head to the nearest 7-Eleven to find the new Coca-Cola Spice to new flavors for Rainstorm. Citrus Zest, Guava Strawberry, Mango, and Strawberry Apricot. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.